Oops. We're going to wait um, for no one to join us. So, oh shit, I guess i got to keep this on, on the screen. <laughs> um, these look like little, little eyeballs. Never noticed that. It's kind of creeping me out now. The date is staring at me in 2020, the first three months, first nine months actually. Hello and welcome to the stream. Welcome back. Uh, we will continue with what we were doing before. I maybe should have left let the stream. <sighs> I maybe should learn how to talk, but also maybe I should have let the stream continue without me here because it was a fairly short break. Uh, anyway, our goal here is now going to be to extract um, the al albedo data from Celestia, which apparently uses its own files to do that, which is fine. Um, the only really sort of bad thing here is we, we, we sort of know that the albedo, um, you know, the, the functions that, uh, that compute magnitude are fairly complicated. So really knowing the albedo may not be that exciting. I mean, we might, it might not really, I mean, it'll obviously help us with the magnitude function, but it, you know, our magnitude function might be so incredibly off uh, that it's not really useful to um, it's not really useful to uh, even have the albedo, even though we have it. It's not going to help us any. It's going to, in other words, the amount of time it's going to take us to get the albedo might exceed the amount of uh, the the value we get from it. But because this is my freaking stream, we're going to do it. All right, and we're going to do it in Perl. So we're going to look at the SSC files, and we're going to um, we're going to try to convert those into an array. Well, let's go ahead and say this here. Um, it's to obtain albedo data and put it into an array or two arrays, if using. Um, bond and geometric albedo. So maybe we'll find one is better than the other, maybe we will find that neither is really that good. Okay. Alrighty. And we'll use the standard sort of um, the command file so we can we can look at it. Now if I remember correctly, and we'll take a very brief look at this here, um, The way they're separating this out is basically they're using um, this. Oh wow! They're using nested braces, but there's a little bit worse than that because they are potentially also not putting the data. Um, some of the data that we need is not going to be inside of the. Uh, inside of the braces. So this is pretty bad actually. Um, so the question is we might be able to cheat because all we need is the albedo. Um, so we might be able to cheat by looking for lines that begin with quotation marks have a name, space, quotation mark, name, and then the next time we see the word albedo use that as the albedo, or geometry albedo, or bond albedo. I mean, that, that, that part's not difficult. All right, let's see if they do that with the minor moons, too. Um, yeah, it looks like they actually do. Adaraster, Amalthea, and uh, if we skip one, it just means that we don't have an albedo for that, but it looks like we might be able to pull this off. All right. Um, so in this case, we're just going to go through the data one line at a time, or dollar sign I split on a new line, which I could do multiple new lines, I guess, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Data, if I equal tilde, quotation marks, that's going to need a debug name, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, debug we're going to debug the whole line. Alright, so this is going to be uh, our little start to this. 
and we need to of course make sure that it's uh, that it's executable and then in our path okay and now let's go ahead and run it um, and I guess it's going to be data ooh nice so that totally works um, I don't know how much data they have on the comets. Comets, I don't even know if they have an albedo actually, because I guess they do. Um, they, they don't generate light, they're just very white because they're made of ice. Um, Alright. So. Oh wow, they put quite a bit into this then. Alright, alright, alright. Um, Um, and then we'll just make sure. Oh, I'm going to regret this. I really need to say which kind of albedo I'm looking for. Or, or get them both. Alright. So, let's see what this does. Wait, that wasn't too... Oh, yeah, right. Albedo, no case, case insensitively. That's looking pretty damn good, actually. Ooh, interestingly, they don't separate out bond albedo from geometric albedo for some of these suckers. Okay. So now, the question is, how do we determine what the NAFE IDs of these suckers are? Uh, for some of them, we'll just have to put them in. Um, for example, uh, you know, Mercury, we just have to know is one. Okay, so what we're looking at here... What we're really interested in here is the first quoted, um, the first quoted, yeah. And if there is a colon, we can get rid of it. I'm really pushing this. Um, because they give the full name of it later, so. Anyway, um, so now... We want just the first name in quotations, although this might get me more than I want. No, good, good, it does. Okay. Um, the name equals R sign 1. Then we want to remove the colons. Globally. And then what remains should be a name we can use. Um, no. Ooh. We want to remove everything before the colon. That I know I'm sounding that sounds dirty. It's not, but it does. Okay, this is good. Mars, 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 Jupiter, 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 Saturn. Yeah, those are the special moons of Jupiter we're never gonna get around to doing anything with. Uh Saturn, Saturn, Saturn. Okay. And now um for some reason in BC Lib I think I have a list of all planets. Um, and I do not. It may be in BC Astrolib, which I don't think I use, so I probably shouldn't be using it. God damn it. All right. Fine. Um, right. I'm going to see in which, of my, in which of my programs I actually do have. I'm sure I have a list of planets somewhere, and by sure I mean I don't know if I do or not. Okay. BC Aprox R A deck might be the one. Nope. So let's go one level deeper. And yes, I could be using fi I could be using the recursive uh, version of this. Um, moving backwards. That's that's what it is actually. Um. Again, I'm becoming disheartened with the uh, with doing this. But actually, 
and I'm pretty sure I need to 2LC this. So that's, these are the, let's see, one, two, um, yeah, these are the planets in order, and Pluto is considered a planet for the purposes of these naming things. Okay. This is now really, oh, th we need the reverse of this ray, actually, but we're not going to do that. Oh, no, actually, we don't. Hang on. Um, are they capitalizing? It doesn't matter. We'll do an uppercase. Um, we're going to see if the name has two pieces to it. If it does, um, we're going to call the second part the extension. Um, and just to clear it out here, we'll do this. At some point, I'm going to need to load a, um, a program to convert Roman numerals back into, or a library, to convert Roman numerals back into... Um, back into numbers. Oh, wow. So maybe we should be doing this like that. Okay, Earth 1. Okay, good. This is actually working. Um, I mean, yeah, this is good. This is good. Okay. Um, there's few enough Roman numerals here. I might be able to do the conversion just myself of having to call up a library to do it. Okay, so now we have this. If the name has a space in it, we t break out the name in the... Uh, um, now, what do we call this? The short array? Yeah. If we take the uppercase of the name and it's one of those, um, planet ID, am I being bad with names here? Yeah, I am. Um, gotta be careful here. Um, yeah, I think we are going to have to just make these variables a little bit more global, because I don't want to lose them after we go into this uh, into this uh, into this if statement here. Um, not an ID. equals short and that's not a uh, function it is a uh, it is a hash um, actually we could probably do this a little bit better like this planet ID equals this and if we don't find one for right now we're just gonna die but we, we need to do better than that later. ID, and then we'll just spit out the line. By the way, all of this is if um, if it's a uh, if we are in the line that gives the the header. So let's see what this does. Ooh, Prometheus, Saturn. Whoa, uh, that's not cool. All right, I know what's wrong. Over here, I did say dot star question mark, um, which should limit us to non. The question mark should mean that you match as little as possible. It doesn't, though. So we're going to just say non space characters. And let's watch that break. Okay, that shouldn't have happened. Yeah, planet ID. Okay. Um, so that's the line that's breaking. Let's go ahead and give this a little bit more here. Name extension. Um, okay. Maybe if we label the damn things. Um, okay. Name is 1980. Now that's that's not cool. Um, uh, 
Oh. We only want to delete stuff up to the first colon. So we need to say here, it can't be anything. It has to be a not colon up to that. And then not globally, just the very first one. Okay. Wow. Well, well, at least it came to an end, so that's not bad. This is, of course, just for one file. We don't have everything. Um, okay. All right. So now we can go back to um, debugging the planet ID. And I guess we'll say name X and we want planet ID. Um, yeah, it is there. Okay. Now, Now the next step here would be to basically say, um, and let's see, so we will do this very simply here, Roman equals, and I think they're using capitals, they are, and this is really bad cheating, but we only need it for like, I think four, five numbers, I think we do have a, um, we do have a V, do we have a VI in there anywhere? We might. Let me check real quick. Oh shit, we have a whole bunch of them, so we do we do need to actually load in a Roman numerals, uh, a Roman numeral library. Okay. okay, so to do, Roman numeral library. And basically, we're just going to take the planet ID, multiply it by 100, and add it to the, the moon ID. But if there is no moon ID, it's just the planet ID, which is going to be adding 99 to it. Uh, so that's, that's how we would proceed, except this has gotten really, really ugly. So I'm going to stop doing this. If there is anybody in chat, which I'm going to check now and violate, not really your privacy, but um, another TV viewer I'm pretty sure is actually uh, a bot. All right, so let's go on to something else here. I think actually this is uh, this is crap. It's taking too long, and at this point the value is is too too little um, for even even for me. Okay, so let's go back to README Stream. Okay, um, shall we add Nightbot to this channel? Yes, we should. Uh, and I've wanted to add Nightbot for some time, so this is not a uh, this is not a, uh, like a spur of the moment thing. I've got too many open tabs now, so I'm going to do something kind of bad. I'm going to close all the other tabs. Wow, it didn't even ask me for a uh, confirmation. Now, I forget where to get Nightbot, so I think it's Stream, it's stream Elements or Stream Labs. I keep forgetting where, though. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe, okay, here we go. Uh, let's log in. Log in with Oh, wow. Twitch. I didn't know you could do it with multiples. Okay. Um, update your title. Cut VODs. I don't like that. Um, Jesus Christ. This really, I mean... Uh, I don't really want it to do that. Oh, uh, okay. That's really a lot of freaking power to get Nightbot. But alright. Um, let's have it join our channel. Ensure that you have modded... Uh, I forgot that I had the special magic commands. Now I need to move this up so I can actually put something in chat. Oh, cool. I think that's, like, that's the only guy in here, but you know what the hell? Okay. Uh, so let's see if he's here. 
I don't see him. Um. Okay, let's see if we can use the commands commands to see what he can do. Ta-da! Very happy. Commercial, I don't want to do that. Um. Filters. Okay. I want to turn off all the damn filters. Oh. Okay. Can I? S well, I can't ban myself, so it's not going to be an issue. Um, current game, which I think should be just chatting. Oh, no, science and technology. I moved it. Um, a poll. Regulars. Songs. Ooh. But since I'm not listening to music, that's probably not necessary. Um, title? Yeah, you bet that's the title. Alright. I'm probably not going to add a winner command because there are no winners in my channel. Alright. So now, uh, let's see, spam protection, I want to turn that off. Um, Um, disable, 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 and disable. I think there's still some things that'll block just because it's a piece of crap. Um, but, but anyway, at least we'll make it as unsong song requests. I don't want to enable timers. Um, and I'm pretty sure this is like a fixed timer. It's not like a timer you can reset or whatever. Uh, integrations. Use Nightbot commands in Discord. Blah, blah, blah. Regulars, I don't have any, and I will never have any. Ooh, shiny. What if we can download these? Giveaways. No. Commands. So we really want to go to a force's custom commands. That's that's where you that's where the magic happens. Um, okay. Um, add command. Ooh. I didn't realize you could make commands without exclamation points. Um hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. Oh, I always hate the fact that help doesn't do anything in Nightbot. Um, okay. So it's not still not gonna do anything, but it's gonna tell people to at least try commands. Um, no aliases. Let's see what this does. Booyah! And then if I try commands, it'll just give me a, a URL, but still. Uh, I guess I could make that just say the bot commands for this channel or blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, now there's fairly some sophisticated stuff you can do with uh, commands. It doesn't have to be... Um, uh, it doesn't have to be like some very simplistic uh, errors. Well, that's not cool. So let's see. Arguments. Um, okay. Okay. That doesn't seem particularly interesting to me. Battle log, which I'm sure has to do with the yep, channel. Um... There is one that actually gives out a fair amount of information. Um, like it tells you the channel name and all this good stuff. Uh, eval, that's probably not healthy. Oh yeah, let's evaluate JavaScript code. Okay, um, provider query. I think query is the one that... Okay, um, query. 
Okay. Uh, I still want the one that has a lot of information on my um, on my channel, which I can't seem to find. These might, might not be a variable, though. It might be something else. It might be like a, a command or something. Um, so are we at the top level? No, we're not. Top level, still not at the top level. Now we're at the top level. Commands. Um, commands list, variables list. I think it's going to be under variables list. Um, hmm. <sighs> Okay, so I guess we can add a nice little uh, weather command. And it'll only tell people my weather, because they can go fuck themselves otherwise. See if that works. Yeah, probably should have uh, put a dollar sign in front of that. One more time. Well, that's not going anywhere. Alright, let's take a look here. I guess it has to be capitalized like that, but let's take a look. Okay, here we go. Dollar sign weather location. Okay, why is that not working? That that looks like it should be able to. Um, all right, well let's just try a dollar sign weather. I mean, you know, we don't have to be fancy schmancy. At least until we get it working. Okay. Not cool. Can I only add these commands from, well, you know, if I add it from the command line, um, command line, the chat, um, at least I can get, get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. So, um, that's not what I want. Well, actually, let me go ahead and add it, and we'll, we'll see what the format is, and I can delete it later. Okay. I wonder what happens if you give it don't give it a query. It might just complain that you need a query. Yep. Alrighty, let's see what that looks like now. Oh. Is it just parentheses where I was trying to use um where I was trying to use um braces, it's just parentheses? Now, I, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to do anything. Yeah. Okay. So that was my issue. And instead of fixing it, I'm just going to do this. Weather. Okay. Okay. Everyone should live. Okay. Now let's see what this does. Yeah. Damn straight. I think that's right. I don't know, actually. I haven't been outside ever. Um, and I guess we'll be nice and give them a weather lookup command, too. And I'm going to be clever. If you misspell it, then you get to use it. So it's weather, and then query is just the first argument of the user's, uh, well, actually, I think it's the whole thing that the user puts in. But anyway. 
So let's say whether let's see how the people in Phoenix are doing. Nice. Let's see how the people in Portland are doing, and then let's see if we can specify which Portland. Um Well that we didn't actually know which uh okay. Whether Portland Maine. Interesting. That's a very different forecast, so that's probably... So it looks like it, um... It looks like it actually does read the whole thing, but it, when it re replies, it only gives the city name. Um, and now the question is, does this, uh, automatically change city names to the current names? Okay, weather... Let's see if I can spell that, actually. Constantinople, because no, it doesn't. Okay, well, Istanbul is Constantinople. Now it's Constantinople, not Istanbul. So if you have a date in Constantinople, should be waiting in Istanbul. That's actually an old song, and uh, they might be giants covered it, um, and they did a pretty good job. Okay, so now what else can we? Do? So now we have the power. We understand. Um, Arguments, battle log, channel, name of the current channel. Now, I could have sworn yesterday there was this really, really detailed uh, thing you could do. Um, that gave you a whole bunch of information on your channel all at once. Um, maybe it was under commands. Uh, commercial filters permit game poll regular songs title winner. So none of those. Um, variables commands. See, so I get the feeling this is just going to be documentation on those commands. Um, I'm actually going to go back to my own machine over here. Something funky is going on with my machine. It's acting weird. But anyway, it'll have to live with that. Um, I'm going to look at my history because I'm pretty sure I saw a really, really useful... Um, I saw a really, really useful page that I have somehow lost now. Um... Show all history. You can't see this. I'm on another machine. Hopefully I can find this uh, wonderful uh, Nightbot documentation. Um, count regulars URL fetch to user user time DJ Khaled. Oh! Uh, it can't be DJ Khaled, can it? Can it be Twitch? Oh, hang on. You might. There's a couple here that might. It might be. All right. Let's see. Well, where did we go? Let's see what DJ Khaled does. Nope. Wrongo. So I don't think DJ Khaled's supposed to do anything interesting, but who knows? Oh yes, keys to success. Okay. And Twitch, I think, is the command that does the uh, the magic. Uh, tells you a lot about your channel. Oh no, it's not. Um. Nope. Um, provider? That doesn't even sound good. Oh. Probably don't care about that either. Team fight tactics time. I guess we'll add time. Um. Is there a channel command? That might be it or a stream command, or something that refers to itself. What is XBL? I think that's like a Nintendo some shit. Uh, no, Xbox, yeah. Not Nintendo, but still. Um, okay, and I think this, this will probably support US Mountain, even though our time zone can... there's another name for it. Uh, MST7MDT. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and add a time command. And once again, 
only I may use the time command. Well, I mean, anyone can use it, but, uh, but only I will get my act. The time will only work in my time zone. Because that's how I roll, man. And this might actually help people who are wondering how do you add, uh, bloody hell, it is 1.57 p.m. here. Uh, now, what happens if I do this? I don't think it should not... Yeah, it should ignore that, uh, the attempt to specify a time zone. Okay, pretty damn good so far. Um, except for the fact that I can't find the command that I really want. And I might end up going through all of these if I have to. Uh, arguments? Battle log? Channel! Channel's the one. Channel's the one that gives you lots of crap about it. Um... No, it's not. Um, there's one that spits out a tremendous amount of information um, that I can't find now. Count, count down, count up. What does count do? Count probably just counts something. How many? Yeah, that I don't give a rat's ass about that. Last FM. What is PSN? It's probably a freaking network of some sort. Yep, 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 yep. Query, query string. Rain, all of these are like frickin' providers. Um, two user, what does that do? Oh, it, uh... Okay, I don't know how that's important. Tweet Twitch doesn't do what I want either. Wow. Yeah. User. This might somehow do this. Nope. User level, user, user ID. Okay. So none of this is really helpful. Alright. I can, of course, build my own command um, to do this magic. Uh, but I kind of didn't want to. Alright, let's see what the channel command does. Um, all right, continue to, let's see, all right, so this, this, um, this which channel, okay, so I guess we need to figure out what can we can put into that little double argument there, like the word followers, because the word followers is clearly not one of the commands that you can use. Uh, and is the bottom of my browser it is right off the edge. Um, so maybe I was looking at something else where that told me that if I'm inside of a channel command, I can do um, I can use things like followers. Um, it'd be good to kind of know where the hell that is, but you know, can't have everything variables list, that might be it. These aren't variables, these are commands. Or maybe they are variables, I don't know. And yes, I know I could search for followers, and I'm going to in just a second. Search for the word followers. What is... why? Okay, okay, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. Pull. Nightball. This might be where I saw it. Songs, title. Um, permit. Current game. Add and edit to the commands themselves. Yeah, so I can do good. It might have been an example under. Um, under title. So let's, let's take a quick look there. Yeah. So what the hell am I missing? Alright, let's search for the word followers. Let's see. There, there's some there's something deep that I'm missing here. Um Ah, here it is. 
it is the Twitch command, but it doesn't tell you what variables you can use with a specific Twitch account. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Oh yeah, here it is. This is the good stuff. Um, this is like, yeah, this is what I was looking at. Bookmark this before I forget. And let's let's load this sucker up. And what do we want to call this? Info, maybe? Oh, actually, it is the Twitch command. Well, it doesn't have to be the Twitch command. Um, and in theory, when someone asks for uh, help or commands, I could override it and just tell them what the commands are instead of forcing them to go to uh, a web page to see them. Okay, so this command will be the info command. The message will be something hideous. Um, so this is going to provide most of the information we need. And it's only going to do it for me. I could do like argument here so you get information about someone else. But you can't. Because only I care about me. Um, so now let's, let's see what else is going on here. I'm curious. It is currently live playing this at 720p 30fps with the one viewers since that 41 minutes 49 seconds ago. That's some pretty nice information actually. Um, and so as to avoid... Let's call it more info for right now. We can change it. And the message will be... Uh, Twitch me formatted string. Mustache tagged... Mustache tag parameters. I guess that's these little double thingies here. Um... All right. So it's going to be Twitch me, and again I'm using curly braces where I don't need them, and I need a dollar sign. So there's this. But now we're going to go kind of ape, ape shit on this, and put it in a formatted string. So it's going to be quotation mark. Well, we're gonna start with this one, and we'll we'll edit it. All right. So if this works, we can add more and more info. Hmm. All right. We can we can certainly live with that. Um. We we kind of need to put in a little bit of a preface there. Uh, and I can just say my name. Say my name! And in theory I could put commands in here for Discord and stuff, but I think the panels, what I have below the panels is pretty good, so I'm going to leave it that way. As... Oh, actually, hang on, I don't need to do that. Um, so this is just going to say has followers, followers. So I can just make this string, I can build this string up. Uh, let me see if that's going to work. If that works, I, th I think it's going to, I mean, it's almost definitely going to work. Because that's how it builds these things. Yeah, it would be nice if I put my name in there, but you know, whatever. Um, I can do that. And I'm going to ca camel case my name because I like doing that. And I guess this could be done for like literally anybody if we didn't. Um, um, but I don't want people to have info on anybody else. Just me. Yes, I do. Okay. Now we can add all these other things we wanted. Um, and we might even put them into some sort of... Uh, okay. Oh, wow. In this case, I know my display name. I mean, it's not its not really relevant. Um, but if we can add it, we can do this name, parentheses, display name. 
Um, we probably don't need that. It don't need that. Um, um, viewers, viewers. Now this is, I think, redundant with the information that is, and I'll put this just to be show how smart I am that I know I might ha only have one viewer, so I can, they could be, um, as currently streaming, um, can I put single quotes in here? Because I want to, I want to make like, I want to like, uh, let me, let me try it. Um, Um, let's see. The problem here is I'm not always going to be streaming, so I don't know if this is correct. Uh, this I think is enough to test with. More info. Display name has 31 followers currently streaming Jovian Lunar Eclipses plus blah blah blah. I think the backticks may have a special meaning for it, so let's go ahead and. Um, Edit that a little bit. Currently streaming. Can I put, um, can I format this a little bit or am I kind of stuck with like HTML or something? Uh, this is probably not going to work. I don't think they will allow me to put HTML in this. And in fact, they might just not even allow me to do that. Okay. Uh, more info. Give me more info. Uh, no, they won't let me do that. Um, if I put it into single quotes, I'm pretty sure that's going to break it, but let's just do, um, yeah, I think we can do, uh, hang on one second here. Does this embolden stuff? It does not. Neither does this. Um, I didn't need to know all that. Okay, so I don't know if this thing has any sort of um, HTML markup, but we'll just put it in quotes. Um, um, this is a real hack. Last current stream, this with viewers viewers which again is going to look really weird if, if I'm not streaming um, all right let's go back to this I don't care when it was created um, <laughs> so this could I don't know if they have if then statements but uh, me, and I guess display name is going to be like, actually let me double check what the hell I'm doing wrong there. It is camel cased. Um, has followers, followers, last current stream this with viewers, viewers, total of views, I don't know how important that actually is, views, has this is going to be the stream length time and all right so let's see if this has all the information I want and then we'll clean it up a little bit maybe Now that really isn't accurate, because um, it sounds like total 558 views means of this stream, but um, let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. I don't know if we can put new lines. Uh, can we put new lines? Uh, we can, but it doesn't do anything. 
Um, um, so I guess that's why people use things like uh, up bang uptime instead of uh, trying to cram this all into one thing. All right. I think we can fix this though. Um, instead of going with this attempt to be create a sentence here, uh, and I do want a space here between my name. Um, followers. That many. La uh, last current stream title. I think we just say title. Um, this time I'm just going to say uptime. I think that's the correct thing to do here. Viewers. Uh, total views. Um, so this probably won't look any better, but it'll make me happier. All right, let's see what we do here. Big, whoa. Um, so I think I broke this, which is why they're not letting me update this. Okay. Format string probably needs to end. That's why. Okay, Barry Carter, nope. Alright, Twitch, Barry Carter, name, display name. Followers, followers. I don't need to put the word followers after that. Title, title. Uptime, uptime length. Viewers, viewers. Total views, views. And that's probably what I need. Interesting that it doesn't actually tell you when you mess up, or if it does, I don't see it. Um, okay, that's cool. Followers 31, title, da da da, uptime 53 minutes. Total view, viewers 1, total views 558. I think I can live with that. Okay. So now the sort of cool thing um, is the feature that it has to, uh, let's see, not the Twitch, is the custom, what used to be called the custom uh, feature, which is the uh, URL fetch. And here's where it can actually um, be very, very cool. And I'm going to call this um, Night bots and headers that okay. Okay, now I'm wondering if this is this might not be the best thing to do. Um custom so some people have created stuff for it. Uh, these are the headers that it gets. Okay. So this, so this is this. Okay, so this is the example of um, the article. So let me try this. See who I am. I'm nobody. Um, actually, let's open search search equals query string. Um, yeah, clearly something is wrong here. Action equals open search and search equals query string. Jesus effing Christ. 
Okay. I'm gonna try this, but I don't think it's gonna work. So we'll just call it test for right now. Um, URL fetch, and then a URL that it wants to fetch. Now the question is, can I construct this URL from the um, the argument? Well, you know what? First, let's just try it straight. Uh, let's just try this straight here. This is another form of getting weather. Um, so this is not going to be interesting, but let's do it anyway, just to make sure it works. And again, it would be nice if I knew what the hell I was doing and put a dollar sign in front of it. And also, instead of using uh, curly braces, did this. So once again, I'm a moron. Okay. I think we've got some actual test out of this. Invalid variable. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, okay, that's because I should have put that in quotes. Okay, that that's my bad. That's my bad. And I hope it'll automatically figure out HTTPS. HTTP is supposed to be from that. Okay, dokie. So, don't like that. Alright. So let me take a look at this again. URL fetch URL. Right? So, I mean, they do it really nasty, but it's URL fetch. And then, okay, well, maybe it has to be... I'll give it to you. It has to be... Unfortunately, I don't think I have HTTPS running on that machine. Uh, I, I'm not actually almost sure that I don't. Alright, 9 billion times the fucking hell. Um, I mean, clearly it wasn't working with the wiki example that they gave, so there's some some sort of question here as to whether this damn thing works at all. Nice. Alrighty, let's see what the hell's going on here. So it's URL fetch. Um, is it lowercase? Oh, it's all lowercase, which might actually be the problem, because this does appear to be case sensitive. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Uh-oh, it's doing something. Oh. Okay. I get it. I get it. Um... Well, let's look, look, look at some of the APIs other people have created. Um, let's see what we have here. And these should be very easy to... Uh, to vi <laughs> wow. Custom API to manage queues. Nightbot alerts in chat. What does locked mean here? Anyway, so pretty much you just need to add these by putting in your, um, hitting up the night bot. Okay, so what does this do? Uh, obtaining an access, those three night bots. Jesus Christ. Okay, that might be way too much for me. This just sounds dangerous. SCP secure copy? Okay. The quote system may be just, um, manual installation, okay, oh, um, Okay, this does not sound very hard. Okay, so now if I go over here, I should actually see them, right? Okay. So this is actually interesting. We might be able to write some of our own APIs here. Um, so, and then the quote itself is just going to get... So this is really anything that we can get with a um, 
with a URL provided that we uh, limit ourselves to um, we limit ourselves to 400 characters um, I'm actually tempted to tweak more info to include everything like um, let's see what bang info gives. I think that already gives enough stuff as it is. Uh, currently live thing, blah, 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 I don't care about most of the stuff I don't give a rat's ass about since, and I, I don't need that. So maybe more info. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can edit it in a new page. That's not what I meant to do. Um, okay. So the other commands we can add to it are basically the, not the point, not the test. Um, okay. Time and weather. I think we can do that. And because when I say freaking more info, you get more info. And I think I okay so this still needs to be in so this is in quotes and then we need to close off our parenthesis okay now let's see what more info tells us probably more info than we need that's why it's called more info holy crap follower 31 title uptime one hour yay I'm over an hour total views time that's really, really excessive, but okay. Weather for Albuquerque conditions are purportedly cloudy. Wind is blowing from the west southwest, and the current humidity is 58%. Okay. So, let's see. There's something exciting about... Okay. And we will put this in readme stream. Way here at the top. create own API for Twitch, because this is pretty damn cool, uh, using URL fetch. Um, and question mark, Jason, question mark. And this might actually bizarrely tie into the whole map project, that if you give it a location, it'll tell you some, you know, what kind of climate there is and stuff. Um, so it might actually help do other things. Um, how many? How many custom APIs? There's okay. There's a lot of custom APIs. <whistles> no, there aren't that many. Um, Destiny math expressions. That's that's actually kind of interesting. I'm assuming it's going to use Wolfram Alpha. Whoa. Um, interesting. So, what's interesting here is, it, apparently this guy can use um, Twitch's URL. Uh, uh, let's say if Twitch Center is maybe just a URL that anybody can use. Oh, man. Um, follow date, PD cutter, Patreon. So, how do we, um, website by this guy who is not working for Twitch, right? Um, oh, it's his domain, so he can do whatever the hell he wants with it. So that's the Twitch Center is just a very cool way of, uh, of you know, showing that he has a domain. Okay, um, there is a temptation to run Mathix on a server and then let people um, let people do math expressions. I'm gonna go ahead and um, 
I'm going to go ahead and do this. Because I... Yeah. Uh-oh. I might have confused a spot. What's your boogie? Nice. So apparently it doesn't understand factorials. Uh, wow, it can do sines and cosines. Nice. Um, but we might want to use a, a better, um, a more well-known sort of... Uh, okay, I do not need this. Oh, actually we already did it, so... All right, so this is this is gives us a little bit of possibility here to be very cool and add some uh, um, to add some uh, functionality to Twitch. Okay, uh, this guy thinks he's pretty smart, and he is pretty smart, so good for him. Uh, Tom Clancy's how long following night API suggestions from chat into a votable list. I need a command. Allows viewers to create clips on any platform. Go custom. -y. This is some good shit here. I'm hoping this doesn't mean secure copy. Uh oh. Um. Okay. What what is SCP by the way? So this is. Um, so it's not secure copy. Oh. I love it. It's fake. Um. Um. I think I've seen this before. But okay, I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, advanced... Okay, now this is interesting. A response link... Responses can be sent with a post request without prior authorization. Um, so in theory, when you make this URL fetch, you could send something back to the channel. Um, I guess it would have to be through Nightbot, though. Um... Okay, okay. So this is if you want to generalize, I guess, to other people instead of just me. But this is this is some interesting stuff here. Um, that is some interesting stuff there. So I guess the post... So would that just send to the channel as... It would have to be Nightbot, right? There's no, nobody else to send it as. Um, okay. Um... Oh, wow. So if you did this badly enough, you could have a command. You could put back into the chat um, a, something that lets Nightbot add more commands. That sounds dangerous. Oh, well, apparently... Okay. Okay, I see it. Channel send. Okay, so it is, it is Nightbot that does it. Okay. Um... The question is, can it send something that is like a bang add command? I mean, that just sounds like a really dangerous thing to do. Um, but anyway. Okay, so we've gotten quite a bit of stuff going here. Eval. You know, just something tells me that you should not be evaluating JavaScript. Um, I mean, sort of the cool thing would be if we just evaluated what the user said. Um, and it's not me that's executing the JavaScript command. It is, um, it is Twitch. So one wonders. 
And in this case, I do need to see what the uh, what the default variable. The arguments I think are the default variables. Arguments. Um. Okay, how do I print all of the arguments at once? Count, count down, count up. Provider, PSM, query, 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 query. Uh, anything the user types after a command. So this this looks like it's going to be very, very dangerous. Uh, let's go and add it. And when you get it, eval the variable query. This is this is not good. So um see this is this is just gonna be really bad. Oh, okay. So you can't do anything with it, you have to kinda be a little bit careful. Um now I have no idea what I can do with JavaScript. I mean, I've done it so many times before. Console log. Ha ha. Undefined. Right, because it's what it returns from the function, and it doesn't actually return anything. Once again, this seems like it's a very dangerous kind of thing to be able to do, but since the danger is not for me, I'm happy. Okay, so the, the eval command is again very powerful. The URL fetch command is where I think we're going to go with this. Th this is a, uh, this is the kind of thing that we could actually put some shit into. Um, I guess the question is, if we do a URL fetch with um, JSON, we apparently have the advantage of we don't have the, the limitation that we had before. Uh, but the question is, what can we do with that? Um, okay, val constant API, URL fetch, so what can you do once you have the, the uh, JSON output? Um, maybe that's something to explore. And let's put it in our to-do thing. Okay. Interesting. So Nightbot has given us some very interesting things, things we might be able to do. Um, I did briefly look at um, auto-completion and um, the basics are very simple. The basics are just that you add a listener to the text box. Um, and then you do some other magic, the, which is probably the harder part of it, the other crap. Okay. Um, let's see what we're doing here. Hmm. Okay. Been going for about an hour and 15 minutes. Let me see if I want to go any longer. I know this is... Okay, helical rising actually is a very interesting subject here. Not really important today, but we should be able to solve that using um, very basic mathematics, because the position of the sun is um, is uh, is fairly predictable, and the the formulas that you need to to get this stuff are also in closed form, so we can in fact. Uh, we can, in fact, do this. Um, I considered creating a stream buffer I could put up, a real one, not just going to that Emacs thing, uh, but maybe we're not going to do that right now. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we are looking at uh, uh, magnitudes now, but we're not going too deep into that. Um, Let's see. I think I'm going to go ahead and call the stream for now, but I might come back later today. Thank you for watching and goodbye. If I can find the OBS thing. There it is.